To other news this evening and now to Boston, the runaway train with passengers on board the commuter train with no operator passing station after station, passengers pounding on the door for help, no one inside. ABC's Lindsay Janice from Boston tonight. Tonight, Boston police are investigating how a packed commuter train was able to take off, traveling without its operator for more than five terrifying miles. We knock on the door of the driver and nobody was there. Shortly before the train's scheduled departure, the operator exited to check a signal. Suddenly, the doors closed, and just after 6 a.m., the train started moving, grazing the operator as it left. The train then passing through four stations as authorities scrambled to turn off the third rail powering the train. It continued to coast before coming to a stop just past the North Quincy station. The whole train started going slow. Uh, all the lights went off and everything just stopped down. Workers then boarded and moved the train to the next stop to let passengers off. Passengers on board that train say they started to panic, realizing there was no one inside the operator's booth. Some tried to get inside, others attempting to pry open the exit doors. Tonight, authorities say they're focusing their investigation on driver error. The first layer of protection are the procedures and the requirements that are supposed to be followed. And the second layer of protection is ensuring that our personnel actually follow those procedures. David, the train operator has been placed on administrative leave as investigators try to figure out exactly what happened. David? Lindsay Janice reporting in from Boston. Thank you, Lindsay.